By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe an experienced cloud site's position as part of a Salesforce org, understand the differences between licensing tiers, and understand how site users are provisioned via accounts. Whether you call it a portal, a help forum, a support site, or an HR central, an experienced cloud site is a great way to connect customers in a new way, share information, and collaborate on business processes. A site built using Experience Cloud sits on top of your Salesforce org, using the powerful Salesforce platform at its core. An org can host multiple sites, each independent of one another. Think of them as flowers, growing independently from one another, from the fertile soil that is Salesforce. In order to fully understand how Experience Cloud sites work in an org, we first have to learn a bit more about community license types. Experience Cloud sites use community licenses for access. There are five tiers of licenses, external apps, customer community, customer community plus, partner community, and channel accounts. And each solves a particular use case. Choosing the right licenses, used exclusively for external users, is one of the most critical decisions for any experienced cloud project. Let's see how they work. The external apps license is great for business to customer, or B2C, use cases. This license is great for when you want your customers to have pretty minimal interaction with Salesforce records. The customer community license is also ideal for B2C use cases, like customer portal or peer-to-peer -peer forums. This license is great for sites with thousands or millions of users. For example, let's say you set up a knowledge base where you expect folks to find the product info that they need. Beyond looking at knowledge articles, asking other community members questions, and creating a case or two, these community members won't be doing much else. Or let's say you have a customer portal, which includes having customers log in to pay a bill, report a missing credit card, or update their home address. Both these use cases are perfect for the customer community license type. Customer Community Plus license goes a step above customer community licenses and can be used for both B2B and B2C use cases that don't involve sales scenarios. Some key benefits include all the sharing benefits of a full Salesforce license and access to reports and dashboards. Partner community licenses are the highest license tier and are great for B2B use cases where your company sells through a distribution channel. This license grants access to Salesforce objects such as leads, opportunities, and campaigns. It can be used in a variety of use cases like partner relationship management for resellers, broker portals, dealer sites, or B2B commerce. The channel account license gives the same benefit as partner community licenses, but is just packaged differently. Each different community license determines different levels of access to objects and features. Once you've figured out the types of licenses you need for your site, it's time to set up your users. First and foremost, every site user in your org has to be associated with an account. There are no two ways about this. Want a site user? Then you need an associated account. There are two different account types in Salesforce person accounts, and business accounts. A person account represents an individual and combines the account and contact fields into a single record. One person account equals one site user. Person accounts only work with customer community and customer community plus licenses. Business accounts represent companies. You can create many site users associated with one business account. Here are the steps you need to take to create users as part of a business account. For the partners, Convert the account to a partner account. Create a contact in the account. And convert the contact into a site user. Let's recap. You purchased community licenses and created users using accounts. You have one or multiple sites in your org. Finally, you associate users as members of a site. The same user can be a member of multiple sites. And a site can have different users with different license types associated to it. Let's take an example. You purchased 10,000 customer community licenses for your support community and 500 partner community licenses for your reseller site. You created 1,000 customer users via accounts and made them members of the support community. Then you created 250 partner users via accounts and made them members of the partner reseller site. You also added the same 250 partner users to the support community so that they can support your customers and get more business by showing expertise. Let's take a look at the fundamental concepts we learned in this video. How a site lives in an org, 
the different license tiers and their characteristics, and how site users are created using person or business accounts. These are some of the most important concepts you need to understand to know how sites work within the context of a Salesforce org. With this knowledge in your arsenal, you're now ready to understand more complex issues when it comes to sharing data and experienced cloud sites. To learn more, check out these resources. Or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.